Hi, everybody, and thank you very much for um, coming along to view um, mathematics at Newman University. My name is Dr. Andrew Turn, and I am subject head of mathematics at Newman University. We offer a single honours BSc in mathematics, which you can complete either as a full time student or as a part time student. Studying the program for, um, as a full-time student, you will study for three years. As a part-time student, you can extend that for over a period of 4.5 years, four and a half years. So let me try and tell you what is special about studying mathematics at Newman. Well, first of all, our maths program is recognized by the Institute of Mathematics and its applications. That means it's a vibrant new modern degree that's designed to solve, to help you solve real world problems. We have a, as a, we have a very modern upstate uh, curriculum. The degree program is around about four years old and it's presently going through a validation process, which will ensure that the program is uh, vibrant and up to date. We also use a variety of uh, modern software to help you solve problems. Okay, this is very important because it allows you to experiment with mathematics to test your ideas and to verify your solutions. At Newman, we also offer very important uh, work related placements. Okay, uh, that means um, before you graduate, you can try out a sector, a career sector that you perhaps would like to go into once you graduate, before you graduate, okay? So our work placement modules allow you to experience what it's like to work in a certain sector, okay? That's a very important, a unique feature of uh, the mathematics program at Newman University. We also have a very small cohort of students. Again, that's very important. We get to know our students very well. Our students get to know the faculty and the faculty get to know the students very well. We teach in small groups and that allows us to do focused teaching and um, focus very much on the individual needs of uh, all of our students. The aims of the course, the aims of the mathematics course is to expose students to a give students a strong exposure to both pure mathematics, applied mathematics and statistics. And, and that's certainly true of any maths program, no matter where you study. As I said before, we use modern software to solve problems and we solve problems both independently and as part of the team, as part of a team. Some of your assessments for some of the modules will require you to work in groups, to work on group projects, to give pr group presentations, and this, again, is a, a good way to prepare you for the working world. Very important part of what we do here at Newman also is uh, we, we, we show you how to communicate mathematics effectively and clearly, okay? We also will prepare you for a career of your choice. As I mentioned before, we have work placement modules that will allow you to try out a certain career sector that you may want to go into once you graduate. And more, um, and very importantly, of course, we want you to enjoy mathematics and see the power of mathematics to solve a variety of uh, diverse problems. I mean, mathematics can be enjoyed for its own sake. It has an intrinsic beauty that we hope that you can appreciate once you start studying mathematics in a deep, deep way. Our visions for our graduates, well, I think the most important one is that you have a, a, a passion for mathematics, that you will develop a passion for mathematics and its applications, okay? You, you as an individual will help to promote mathematics to, to your friends, to wherever you work, and expose um, such people to, to the powers of mathematics and how powerful it can be to solve a variety of problems. We'd like you to be also an independent, reflective and innovative and articulate advocate of mathematics, as mentioned, okay? You are, a, you are no longer outside of mathematics, you are inside mathematics, and it will be very nice for you to, to promote um, 
certain aspects of mathematics to, to the people in your life. You will have obviously a significant knowledge and understanding of pure mathematics, applied, applied mathematics and statistics, and be able to critically reflect on personal values, communicate, engage and work with others, understanding who have understanding in different perspectives. Okay, that means you can, you will learn how to argue in a focused and clear and fair way. Okay. Let me just uh, give you an indication of the modules that you will study at Newman. In your first year, semester one, you will study mathematical thinking, which is this module here, mathematical thinking. And this module will expose you to approach mathematics in a much more sophisticated way compared to perhaps what you're used to. There will be an emphasis on logic, an emphasis on proofs, uh, emphasis on checking your answer, an emphasis on neatness and an emphasis on communicating mathematics in a very clear and efficient way. Okay, mathematics is all about communication as well. And it's important that you learn how to communicate complex ideas effectively to audiences of, um, from various backgrounds. Okay, some of your audience may be say weak in mathematics, some of them may be strong in mathematics and we will see how we can communicate mathematics effectively and efficiently uh, to help us um, illustrate solutions to very complex problems. Mathematical methods, well this is an important module, this will uh, develop your uh, current knowledge of mathematics, make it firmer, um, um, make it more sophisticated and expose you to different approaches to mathematics that you may have met before. One of the emphasis, one of the things that we emphasize is checking, checking solutions. It's very important to be able to check your solutions and to ensure that um, you found all possible solutions and that your solutions make sense. The third module that you'll study in your first semester is, all, is uh, mathematical modeling. Okay, and this will use mathematics developed in the previous two mentioned modules to solve real world problems. We look at actual problems that occur in the real world and solve those problems using mathematics. Okay, it's very important that we let the mathematics do the talking for us. Okay, uh, do the thinking for us. We set up a mathematical problem and then we solve um, the problem mathematically and then give it an appropriate interpretation. That's a very important way of applying mathematics to solve real world problems. So those three modules are what you will study in semester one of year one. In semester two, you will uh, take um, the mathematical professional. That's a... Um, a module that uh, allows you to, to show you about to use things like Excel and MS Word, using various types of software to solve mathematical problems. Um, there's also the introduction to work related learning. Again, this is, a, this is a module that will help you prepare for your work placements during your second year. Linear algebra and applications. This is a very important module. This, any complicated, system can always be linearized okay we can make it linear if we solve the problem locally so linear algebra and applications is a looking at systems linear structures linear systems that have um, routine ways that we can solve them okay using matrices by and large and finally there's probability and statistics this is an introduction to um, calculating probabilities and applying prob probability via statistics, again, to solve problems of a statistical nature. So those are the modules that you will discuss, um, take in your first year. In your second year, there on the left, you'll take uh, research methods for mathematicians one. This is where we put the pure mathematics um, from the math program. Okay, we will look at things like limits, we will look at things like the definition of uh, a limit, the definition of um, differential calculus, and so on and so forth. So many of the ideas that you've met before, we put them on a very formal setting in research methods for um, mathematicians. That's that module there. Uh, the work-related learning module, 
this is where you will actually do your work placements um, that you prepared for in year one. You will spend a number of weeks in a career sector of your choice and just experiment and see if you like it. And hopefully you can build up some contacts and prepare yourself uh, for when you do finally graduate and going into a sector of um, a career sector of your choice. The uh, third module there is uh, advanced calculus. Uh, this will develop on the mathematical methods that you uh, had taken in year one and look at uh, things like vector calculus, um, 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 vector algebra, and more sophisticated um, calculus ideas along those lines. Then there's um, statistical methods and modeling. Again, this will develop the statistics that you had taken in your first year and use that to solve much more um, sophisticated problems using notions of correlation and correlation measures and so on and so forth. So all those modules I just mentioned, you will take in semester one of uh, year two. In semester two, you'll be taking a research methods for mathematicians two. Again, this will develop a theory of integration and look at things like metric spaces and various notions of topology. So again, that's where all the pure maths um, of the course uh, resides. There's a further course in mathematical modeling and numerical methods. Again, this extends the mathematical, um, the, the mathematical um, application module that you are taking in year one and looks at more, um, more complex problems. And as you'll quickly find out in mathematics, many problems we cannot solve exactly. We have to um, resort to various approximations and we'll develop uh, numerical techniques for you to exploit, to solve such, um, such problems. And finally, it is optimization. Many of the uh, problems that we solve in applied mathematics are of an optimization nature. That is, we are interested in a maximum or a minimum. Okay, a company is not interested in profits. A company is interested in maximum profits. A company is not interested in cost. A company is interested in minimum cost. So this notion of maximum and minimum is tied up with optimization. And those ideas are thrashed out in the optimization module in um, semester two of year uh, two. So all these modules here are what you will study in, in, year, in year, uh, year two. The year three modules indicated on the right here. Again, <coughs> there's, uh, there's some choices. Uh, the first one, the work related um, projects, um, you can choose to do a dissertation on based on the work uh, placement module, uh, your work placement experience that you consider uh, that you did in year two. Okay. So if you work in a if you worked in a, a bank, for example, you could do a project based on the type of mathematics that you used when you worked in a bank. The dissertation project is a formal thesis, an extended thesis. This module will be taken over by uh, uh, over both semester one and semester two. It's a very long uh, extended project, and you can choose to do a dissertation in a field of your choice from pure mathematics, applied mathematics or statistics, okay? Some examples have been uh, a, a, a special theory of relativity, quantum mechanics, Clifford algebras, the Dirac equation, Maxwell's equations, and so on and so forth, okay? There will be a list of topics that you can choose from uh, in the area areas of pure mathematics, applied mathematics, and um, statistics. And you will work very closely with your project supervisor on this uh, extended project. Um, the module that you will do in year, in semester one of year three, complex analysis and applications, okay? This looks at com uh, functions of a complex variable, Z equals X plus I, Y. Up until now, you've done functions of a real variable. You've done calculus of a real variable. Now, this module will extend that notion to um, functions of a complex variable. And it's a very, very powerful um, 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 area of mathematics and is truly surprising applications in the real world. 
um, in semester one you will of your of year three you will also take graph theory and networks okay this module is about how how um, how how things are connected for example computers are connected in all sorts of ways uh, train stations are connected by railway lines um, personal people are connected by uh, friendships and so on and so forth so this module looks at the way the way and, and, and looks at the mathematical way how, how various um, sets of items are connected in your um, in semester two you'll also do data science this looks at uh, ways of dealing with large data sets and extracting useful information uh, from data sets using um, using various types of software and finally in semester two of year three, you'll be taking partial differential equations. Many par partial differential equations uh, occur time and time and time again. The wave equation, the heat equation, the Plessis equation, so on and so forth. These diff partial differential equations um, keep on reoccurring in mathematics in all sorts of areas. So in this module, we look at um, sophisticated ways of solving such equations. Okay, so hopefully that's given you an overview of the modules that you will take in um, year one, year two, and year three. Okay. What we will learn and teach and be like? Well, contact time is uh, a very important um, uh, part of teaching. We have um, scheduled face-to-face -face teaching sessions, and because of COVID, there may be that may be a combination of both face-to-face -face teaching and Zoom-based um, uh, Zoom teaching, which will be live sessions. Uh, a typical 20 credit unit module, just to say that in a given semester, you'll be taking uh, 60 credit units. That's typically three modules, three 20 credit unit modules, and a typical 20 credit, uh, 20 credit unit module as um, roundabouts, three hours of teaching per week, okay? Plus, of course, you'll be uh, expected to do some independent study. There's uh, lecture notes, um, extra notes that we upload to Moodle, where you can um, read before a class and read after a class to consolidate your ideas. There's also uh, assignments um, that you need to uh, complete. There's also projects that you need to complete and presentations that you need to prepare for. And also, of course, uh, some modules, not all of them, will have um, examinations. And the good news is that all examinations within the mathematics course at Newman are open book examinations, which means you can take in anything you like. Our teaching style is very personal because of our small group, group sizes. Uh, typically, we don't have more than 10, 12 students in the class. So our teaching style is very, very personal. We get to know our students. Our students get to know the faculty very well. And that um, helps us to teach in a very focused way that addresses all our students' needs. Um, perhaps I should mention something about assessments. We at Newman have a varied um, um, choice, uh, a varied um, way of doing assessments. It's not just um, examinations, we also use projects, we also use presentations. Presentations are very important because when you do get a job in your chosen career, more likely than not, you will have to give presentations based on projects that you've done uh, for, your, uh, for your chosen career, within your chosen career. So presentations are very important. They, these will get you used to um, talking in front of a small audience. Um, make you feel comfortable giving such talks and allow you to give talks in a sophisticated way using, um, using, using, using powerful tools to illustrate complex ideas. So we have a varied um, method of assessment at Newman, various methods, presentations, projects, of course. Uh, we do have some uh, examinations and some of the projects are group-based, which will allow you to um, get to work in groups, which again reflect what happens in the real world. Okay. 
So what support can you expect from us? Well, you can expect uh, academic and pastoral support. Every student will be allocated a personal tutor, someone that you, that you can be in contact with throughout your studies at Newman. The strong employability and careers uh, support. As I said uh, earlier, in your, at the end of your, um, in semester two of year one, you will do a work placement module that will, uh, that, that's designed to help you prepare for your actual work placement in year two. And the careers office will can give you strong help and support in setting up your career placement. Um, further study, of course, at, um, at, um, at Newman, there's all sorts of help to, to expand any, uh, uh, any interest that you may have. Um, obviously, I'm talking about mathematical nature here, but outside of mathematics, we have uh, extracurriculum activities and there's various um, sporting groups, um, uh, academic groups that, that are different from mathematics that you perhaps can get involved with. We also have a, um, a mathematics society here at Newman, and we're constantly looking for students' help uh, to run that society. Uh, and the society very often invites uh, external speakers to come in and give talks on, um, of a mathematical nature. One question that uh, I often get asked is, what can I do with a mathematics degree? Well, maths is not just for school teachers. Many people think, well, well the only thing I can do with a mathematics degree is become a school teacher. That is true. You can become a, a, a school teacher. And at Newman, we do a, uh, offer a PGCE in secondary mathematics if you so desire to be a school teacher. OK, but there is a, a, a huge shortage of strong of uh, mathematics teachers in the UK. And the reason for that is because um, people with maths degrees choose to work elsewhere. Maths is about solving problems. So any career that requires you to solve problems in a sophisticated way, mathematicians are sought, uh, sought after. Um, such examples would be accountancy, um, data and uh, an analyst finance, uh, in a financial sector, software developer tester, statisticians, of course, research, uh, research and logistics, and the list goes on and on. Engineering, okay, Eco economics, management, you know, all of these sectors require strong, a strong ability to solve problems. And that's what mathematics is all about, is solving problems in, or in a variety of different sectors, okay? And of course, right at the very end again is, of course, a maths teacher, which, um, which there is a shortage of, and you'll be most welcome to join the, uh, the PGCE um, after your studies at Newman in your first degree. Well, hopefully that's given you a, uh, a nice overview of uh, the maths programme here at Newman. Uh, my name is Dr. Andrew Toon, and please do contact me anytime if you have any further questions. There's my email, a.toon at newman.ac.uk, and there's my telephone number. And I look forward to hear, hear from you if you have any, any questions whatsoever. Some further um, useful contacts here. Uh, accommodation, you can contact them here. Admissions, if you're concerned about the admission process or if your application is being accepted, you can try here. Student support and student finance. So there's a number of contact de details that you can um, use to answer uh, questions of those nature. <laughs>